Hello, it's Chris again. So I want to continue on with these lessons and today we want to talk about the difference between single and multi-letter graphemes. Um, so we've already looked together at our 26 single letter graphemes. And we remember that we go through these, we flip from front to back, um, and one of these is a multi-letter single letter grapheme, and that is the grapheme QU. Um, but we represent these single letter graphemes as all of the letters of the alphabet, but we just teach that Q always needs a U, U is not a vowel here. So these 26 are our 26 single letter graphemes, um, and these are numbered from one all the way to number 26, okay? Um, then following that, you have another 27 through 88 graphemes, and these 27 through 88 are all the rest of our multi-letter graphemes. But one thing that's very important, we've already talked about together, but it's important for us to remember is that graphemes are symbols that represent sounds. So we don't want to think about multi-letter graphemes as two letters working together as much as we want to think about them as one symbol representing a sound. Um, so the difference between single and multi-letter graphemes is that we call them that um, in order to differentiate when we would teach them. So we teach all of the single letter graphemes before we would ever start the program with any student. Um, and then we teach the multi-letter graphemes um, in following lists. I have here an example. Um, this would be what a page from your spelling book would look like here. Um, and you'll notice here that it says before you begin your list, um, you should do these things. Number one, read through the list to make sure you understand the markings. Number two is to teach these graphemes. And so it says to teach all of the 26 single letter graphemes. And then it says to add these graphemes also. And these are the multi-letter graphemes. Um, these are graphemes 27, 28, 29, and 30. And you would teach those with, um, with getting ready for this first list. And this is the first spelling list, an example from that. Um, so I wanna look at a couple of things specifically to do with um, multi and single letter graphemes. Um, we understand that single letter graphemes may make more than one sound. Okay, so I wanna use this word both as an example. So we're gonna show some examples from both the single and multi letter graphemes. Um, so this word both, if we're going to mark it, we want to work from left to right. So we have, how many sounds here do we have? How many phonemes do we have? We have b, o, f, both right? That's three sounds. Uh, that means we, because we have four letters here, I know we're going to have at least one multi-letter grapheme here. So we have b, and then we have o. Now, this letter here, o, this makes, this grapheme makes three sounds. A, o, u. A, o, u. And so this is sound number two. We haven't really gone to the dictation method yet. We'll get to that very soon, but part of the dictation method is markings. Because this o says O, which is the second sound, we're going to mark above it with the number two. B, O. And then we have S, and S is a multi-letter grapheme. With every multi-letter grapheme, we are going to underline it. That shows that these two letters are together as one grapheme. Um, this is not B, A, T, right? This is B, O, S, both. Okay, so we underline it to show that it's working together. Now, this grapheme makes more than one sound. This says and this is making the very first sound, both, both. And because it's making the first sound, we do not need to write a number above the grapheme, okay? So let's go ahead and move on here um, to two and through. Um, and we want to make sure to be clear that we're always going to mark numbers above them if we need to. So here with two, it's a very simple word, but we have t. U, t is saying its first sound, it only makes one sound. A, O, U is making its third sound. So we're going to make that number three. And here, through, now we have more than one multi-letter grapheme in this word through. So through the word through, we have more than one grapheme, multi-letter grapheme. And we wanna mark from left to right. That's an emphasis we wanna to continue to keep in our SWR program, is focusing on taking students from left to right um, so that they're learning how to read in the English language. So the very first one we have here is and then it's er, ooh. So we only have three sounds here. 
er, oo, through, okay? Um, and so er is making its first sound. It doesn't need any markings. But here we have this one here. And this is our biggest multi-letter grapheme. It makes six different sounds. It says o, oo, uff, off, ah, ow. Okay, and here o, oo, it is making its sound number two. So we're going to mark that above this grapheme. Er, oo, through. Okay, um, and so these are our multi-letter graphemes. This is our biggest one. It makes the most sounds more than any other grapheme. Okay, another thing that I want to talk about together is uh, if you might have learned another program of phonics before this one, um, you may have learned a little bit of um, sloppy phonics, which is to put certain sounds together. Um, so I want to talk about that here. Some people teach E-A-R, E-A-R, to both say ear and to say er, okay? Um, we do not teach it to say e, ear and to say er. Uh, we teach this in a different way. Uh, we do teach that E-A-R can say er. There are a number of different er sounds. That's an E-R, an I-R, a U-R. Um, O-R can say er if a W comes before the O-R. But also E-A-R can say er. Uh, Y-R is, is a very less, it's a much less common er, but it can also say er. Here, E-A-R says er in herd. So we're going to go ahead and underline E-A-R. We have er, d, herd. Here, we have e, er. So what we want to do here is we want to separate these. We want to recognize that here, the E-A is working separately as a grapheme. It is saying e. So e, er, here. Okay, this one, it, the E, A, and R are working together to say er, together. <sighs> er, d, herd. So we want to be very careful to separate when we need to. And we'll know by the way the word is pronounced. Um, so the phonemes indicate the graphemes. So phonemes and graphemes have this um, symbiotic relationship. They work together. And we have to know how the sound is in the word in order to be able to tell how to separate them. And so if we were marking them, this is how we would mark them. And then finally, also as an emphasis, um, I have a lot of my students because they had used a different program before we had used this one. Um, and we used to teach that ST says st in stop. Okay. Um, and so I want to emphasize that here. We're going to stop teaching that. Okay. Uh, because ST, of course, it says st. That's two different sounds. So we're just putting them together and saying they say what they should say. Of course they say st together, okay? Um, so what we just say is these all are saying their first sound. So this is st, a, p, stop, okay? So these are all single letter graphemes. These are not multi-letter graphemes. Um, make sure that you do not teach any multi-letter graphemes other than the ones that are provided to you in this packet from 27 to 88. Um, and know that when you're going to teach them to the students is always going to be up here at the top of the list. Before you teach a certain spelling list, you will know which ones you should teach to the students. So for example, on this one, on this first list has no multi-letter graphemes, okay? So you won't need to have taught any multi-letter graphemes before you teach the very first list in the spelling program. But you will need to have taught um, all of the single letter graphemes. And then what you do is you teach these multi-letter graphemes here during this list, um, and that's in preparation for the next list. Because in the next list, you will have some words with multi-letter graphemes. So you want to have taught these to the students. The multi-letter graphemes are listed in order according to when they will show up in the spelling lists. Um, that's the way that we've ordered them. Um, we think that it's a good way to be prepared for the students and for you. Um, and to have these numbered um, just in order of their appearance in the spelling list. So thanks for paying attention. Um, this is the difference between multi-letter, single-letter graphemes, and also a little bit of information about how to mark them, um, and also some things to be careful about um, to, avoid, um, to avoid trying to say that they are the same, because here they are not. This is er in herd. This is e er here. Um, and then we want to remember to stop making multi-letter graphemes of, of sounds that are just single-letter graphemes. So st says st.
not st. Okay. Um, so I, I hope that you had a good time listening to this one, um, and I look forward to how you'll do on the next quiz coming up.